it's Monday. I've got a bit of a weird day today. Um, I'm going for a CT scan, like bang in the middle of the day, which I'm not really looking forward to, if I'm honest. Let's hope I cheer up more towards the middle of the vlog or the end or something but today i am also just taking a few minutes to sort out my um christmas gifting i honestly struggle so much with what to get people for christmas and i thought i would do this video this year i've never done a video like this but i thought that it might be helpful for you to see what i'm buying for other people and how i put things together and i wanted to show how i wrap things as well i really love hate wrapping like i love the end result and the way it all looks under the tree but i really hate the process but i also enjoy the creative process if that makes sense i don't enjoy doing it but i like designing it <laughs> so um i thought some of you might really enjoy seeing that and just seeing a few ideas on how you can like make a gift look a little bit more special and some of these are things that like um are kind of random additionals which i like to do but basically i started with <laughs> this little visual normally i would do a spreadsheet but i spend so much time looking at my computer at the moment and at my phone i actually just wanted to take a few minutes to do something offline and i know this is probably like a waste of paper but i will, I will recycle it but this is just how my brain is working at the moment i'm a very visual person and i need like a full breakdown like ideally i'd just have my entire family and friendship group sitting in front of me and i'd be like you're getting this but I can't do that and that would be really weird so yeah this is <laughs> this is as close as I am getting we have started off over here we've got my mom my dad Ryan I have a brother some of you might know this and he is not on here because he prefers money and I just do a bank transfer every year so he's not on here and he will not mind about that one bit and then I've got friends and family that it kind of extends into so if any of you are watching and you are on this list please stop watching now on that note if any of my friends or family do watch this video and their present gets spoiled i literally am taking no responsibility for this because you have been warned like i've literally just given you a visual representation of whether you are actually it might even be a few other people that i may, may have forgotten this is partly how i work around it but if you are a friend or family just, just don't watch this video give it a like whilst you're here but just don't watch it because i just don't want you, this to be spoiled for you although i feel like Brooks was definitely spoiled already, so Brooke, you can watch this. Yeah, so I'm gonna get started. Uh, basically, I like this little visual representation as well because I can just kind of like pick things up like this and dump them on top of the uh, gifty. Now I'm gonna need to space this out a little bit more. I'll probably extend this all the way up this bit of the living room and uh, just use this as a like checklist, literally like a visual checklist. There are some people where this is just gonna be so easy. I've got them a couple of bits and there are some people where I'm doing like collective little bits and bobs and I'm definitely gonna need some bags for that I think because it's just so much easier to put something in a gift bag versus gift wrap and people can also reuse the bags which I really like. Um, so I definitely need to go out and get some of those. But I'm gonna leave that for a bit and I'm just gonna talk you through what I've got everyone. So I'm gonna put you back on my tripod for two seconds. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get started with what I got for my mum. So I have a gift for her from Monica Vinida. It is, I think I've shown this in a video, but it's just this really cute little bracelet. It's just like one of those woven thread ones. She gets something from Monica Vinida like every year. I don't even think she's bored yet to be honest, but I just think they're a really lovely, easy brand to get they do a lot of rose gold but she loves and a lot of like sparkly pieces and that's just her vibe in general she really likes their stuff i can't really go wrong with anything uh from them for her so that is kind of her main present so that can go over there my dad his is going to remain empty because i don't know what i'm getting him yet i got him a really fucking great birthday present so I just don't really know what I'm going to do for him for Christmas. I'm kind of sitting on it a little bit. But yeah, next is, <laughs> these are these are interesting. Lauren and I saw these in Zara home and they are my mum in a slipper and they reminded us of her. And uh, that's about as far as that gift goes. Next up, I have another pair of slippers. These are actually the same slippers that I'm wearing ooh, right now. They're from ASOS and I got these for my brother's girlfriend, Sean, who I love. She's literally like the sweetest human being. And I just feel like she'll really, really enjoy these. Um, so I picked those up for her and then I also got her just a little candle off of ASOS and I just thought it was really cute and just something that I think she would like, it's so sweet. So it's like pink matte around the outside and then it's also pink on the inside as well. I just think she'll love it. That is what she's getting for Christmas. That was 
a nice easy one and then i've got this which is a decorative item for a gift which you will see in a little bit i'm gonna get ryan's stuff out of the way because it's just kind of like distracting me so i've got him an all saints hoodie there's also a t-shirt as well which i need to locate because it's not here and i did just like go to get it out of the bag where his stuff was and it's not there so uh yeah but this is the hoodie I really like it and I think he'll really like it as well. Loves the black hoodie, so I think he'll really, really enjoy that. And it's got like this on the front, but it's like not too much. I just think that will suit him really nicely. And then I also got him, is it just me or does anyone else like removing like the packaging off and stuff before they wrap it? I got him the Tom Ford Ombre Leather All Over Body Spray. It smells amazing, amazing. And we tend to like the same smells. Like we've spent a lot of time in airports together and um, gone through the fragrance section many times. And I feel like we're kind of on the same wavelength with fragrances. So I felt quite confident. I've also got some mince pie fudge just as like a little stocking filler for him. And I also got a chocolate pug because we just have like this long, long running joke about pugs and i just always seem to gift him something pug related now so uh, i thought that tied in nicely with basically all of his birthday presents but yeah so i've got quite a few bits for him but i went quite low-key for his birthday in the summer so i thought i'd get a few more bits for christmas so that is him sorted okay and that's the matching okie doke so i'm still looking a little bit sparse but i've got another box here so for my friend stevie i have a few bits from friends fest for her she loves friends it's one of the shared mutual things that we love so yeah i have a friends fest t-shirt for her and then i think there's another bit in here and she also has some mucklet uh which if you watch friends you will know and i know she'll appreciate this more than anyone because i think lots of people would just keep it as like a, oh it's like mucklet from friends she will actually try this I know, I know she will. So yeah, I'm very excited to get her verdict on what that tastes like. Those are her presents done. Oh, and there's a mug as well. Mug friends on it, which is cool. Okay, so my aunt is getting Kiehl's. This is the scented scrub soap, grapefruit scented. And then the creme de corps body butter, which is really nice. And these are the festive packaging. It's just so cute. Okay, so my aunt is going to get a soap and glory bath bomb and i'm also going to do a nice mascara i think she'll like this that's going to my other aunt and then i've got a diptyque roses candle which i am gonna give to poppy because i'm gonna stick by my like little trend where i give her a mini diptyque candle literally every christmas <laughs> and i don't know if she's bored of these yet but i always just think they are like the perfect gift so she's getting one of those then we have a few more soap and glory bits and i thought my cousin would love these we've got the kapout gift set which i just think is like such cool packaging and it comes with like lots of these like glosses and stuff so i thought that would be great for her and then i also got her a little pamper kit as well so that's just like girly heaven like she's at that point where that's actually like interesting versus like when she was younger i was like it's a bit too early for makeup to be honest i've got a few nars palettes uh they're basically kind of like the same from their holiday collection this one is the hustle palette and this one is the star scene palette i think this one would look better on my friend Vic, so she's gonna have that one and then kat has slightly darker skin so i'm gonna go with that one okay. then we have a christmas eve candle which is for Lauren. I also didn't show you Brooks. If you haven't seen the Come Shopping With Me, Christmas Come Shopping With Me, I did a little um, trip to Westfield in London and I went and got my friend Brooke a fragrance. It comes gift wrap like this as well. I think the offer is still on. I will link to the video where I talk more about it if you're interested. Uh, but I got her a Valentino fragrance and in there is also a bauble as well, the little mini YSL fragrance, which is really cute. So I picked those up for her, but I also want to give her something else as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna add to this as I go along. So basically all of the girls are getting like a main, really, really like amazing, like obviously they're getting like the NARS palette. And then what I'll probably do is like, there's just like a leaf just really blowing around. Wow, that was really distracting. Anyway, um, so they'll all get a NARS palette and then they'll also get a bag that's like mixed with like other things as well. Kind of like miscellaneous stuff, maybe some, like some sweets, chocolates, that kind of thing. So Brooke's already got like a bag made up. So what I'm gonna do is just pop the NARS fragrance, NARS fragrance, NARS palette in there. And so she's having that because I think the colors will just look amazing on her. And then I have got 
a couple of palettes from Smashbox. These are the Kali Kissed Smashbox uh, blush and highlight set and then the Kali Contour um, Shape and Bronze and Glow set. I've got those. I've got a all over body shimmer powder thing from Soap and Glory and then I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Scent of a Dream and I think I'm going to do this as a set for Ryan's brother's girlfriend. Yeah, the girls are so easy to do. So easy. Literally, the slips that I have left over are like dad, granddad. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. And then I've also got, I just, I'll carry on filling up the little bags for all of my like favorite girly people as I go along. And then I have both my managers to buy for. And I kind of like to get them a little bit of like jewelry or something like that. I'm not really sure what I want to do this year. So I'm still sitting on that and I'm obviously leaving myself so much time um, to do that. So I need to get my thinking cap on. But this is basically how my system is looking right now. Looks like an absolute mess, but it's organized mess. What I'm going to do is just wrap a few bits with you today um, because I obviously don't have a ton of time, but I'm going to wrap a few bits with you and show you kind of different gift wrapping options and how I like to do things and stuff like that just so you guys can like see. I have a lot of bits in here. So I've got lots of little bits like this. Like So Christmas tree decorations I think make amazing gift wrap decorations as well. So I've got a few little, I've got a snowflake and then some stars from white company and those are gorgeous but then i also have a few of the fluffy baubles from white company which i think work amazingly as well basically what i like to do is as i'm tying a knot on a bow i just slip like a decoration over the ribbon and then continue tying the bow and it just ties in really nicely got a lot of ribbon i think you guys will have seen this already if you saw my come shopping with me vlogs i picked up all of my gift wrap for this year there so i've gone for some speckled white i've got some black velvet and then i've also got this like grainy silvery gray and then some of this as well and you might be wondering why the fuck does one girl need so much thread for her gift wrap and it's because i often like to double up on the ribbon so i'll mix like i don't know for example this string with this ribbon and it just looks so pretty and you can obviously do just string um, but I just think it's nice to double up on some occasions it just looks really delicate I then also have these from White Company which are literally my nightmare in terms of like excess glitter but I think they're gonna look so pretty so I wanted to get some of those just to kind of show you those and then I also have this as well to go on top of Ryan's present so it's basically like a little kind of pocket gamer thing but it has a little um kind of like silver chain on it which means that you can thread it through the ribbon on a present so i thought that would be quite cool it's just like a nice personal touch i don't know if i have a photo i might have a photo or laura might have a photo but for her birthday present i actually did the same but with a tamagotchi and her present was all pink and i like had the ribbon and like threaded the pink tamagotchi on the ribbon and it was just really cute and i like doing things like that because it's just kind of adds a little bit more to the gift like it's like a gift but it's also part of the gift wrap and i think that's cool i'm gonna get started and just show you a few options probably with some of the things that are like boxes because it's easier and i'll feel better about myself and my gift wrapping skills
kind of going to use this just to show you the different ways that I'm probably going to wrap the other presents just because this one is really big and easy for me to show you on camera whereas the other ones are like a little bit more fiddly kind of smaller and I actually think that I'm just going to basically wrap this a few different ways and just kind of show you um because there's one way that I really like which I will probably do for Ryan's but I don't have a box for it yet so I'll kind of show you that in theory and then I'll show you what I will actually most likely do for this one but there are so many different options basically I think the one I'm going to go for is either a little pom-pom for my cousin's one or this this little like foil leaf so uh oh my god how stunning that would just be so pretty I think even just as like on their own maybe with like a gift card attached would be really beautiful and you don't really have to i think with little things like that it's like you can buy like you know very plain wrapping paper it doesn't have to be anything like super fancy oh my god i'm covered in glitter i literally just hoovered last night uh, anyway i'm gonna ignore it i'm gonna ignore it so this is probably how we'll wrap Brian's one. I thought I'd just talk you through kind of what I do because I know I've kind of shown you, but I always, when I'm doing ribbon, turn the present. I'm gonna put you here, there we go. Always lay the ribbon out across and then put the present face down just because that's where you want the bow to come out. So you obviously do your twist on the back and then your bow goes on top and that's where you want a flat bit of ribbon with no twist so i then measure it out and obviously that's not gonna the end is here so that's not gonna go um so i need to make this piece of ribbon longer don't worry this won't be wasted because ryan's present box is probably going to be around the same size for his hoodie i like to put things in a box just because then the wrapping looks neater and i'm one of those people apparently i just remember when i was a kid my mum used to be amazing at wrapping presents and i was always just like how is she doing this like she'd get me to help her and i just be like i can't do this so now it's something that i like kind of like to spend a lot of time on about here and then i'm going to test it and then if that one's all good to go then i will use this bit of ribbon to measure the other bit of ribbon measure these out and make sure they're even because otherwise your end to the bows are going to be odd lengths so make sure that's even, Let's throw it around. This is gonna work, I've done the lengths right, I think. Cool. Now, I actually haven't wrapped, yeah, there we go. I haven't wrapped presents in a very long time. I actually had someone else do it last year. So I'm a little bit rusty, if I'm honest, but I think I've got this, so. I'm gonna measure out the black velvet ribbon, which by the way, feels amazing. I was literally like, oh, ah, like one of those little green aliens out of Toy Story. Measure those and then literally just run it along the length of the ribbon, which is bloody long. And there we go, that's how much I need. And then I'm gonna use the silver one as my foundation for this present. exactly turn out how i envisioned but it's not the worst i've done one thing that i think will really save this is just sticking a giant star on top of the bows because the bows basically aren't playing my game so i actually need to take this little label off that would be really cute if i did that i'm just gonna thread this through and what i generally like to do is keep the um what do you call these like the petals of the bow that's just what i'm calling them i don't actually think they're called that but i like to keep them fairly short and um, just because then i think it keeps a better shape and i'm probably gonna trim these black ones down to be the same length as the bow so my batteries are all dying i've been filming for so long but this is the point that i've got to i trim the bows down so the ribbon ends are the same length as the actual bows so it kind of just looks a bit like a flower and then it's like this giant star on it to kind of distract from the fact that the bows look a tiny bit shit so yeah that is how <laughs> ryan's present will be looking <laughs> come christmas day i might actually use a silver gift wrap for his instead of the white i think it would just look a bit like 
more it would blend a bit better together but yeah i really like this i think it's very cute i'm gonna do um the kind of white combination on this now okay so i've done this thing a little bit different i didn't film this because my battery is just so low but um i've actually just wrapped this around the back so just put the ribbon over once tied it at the back and then like pulled the string around and around and around this and then also tied it at the back i'm on the way to the hospital now and i thought i'd update you all uh on this very exciting adventure that i'm going on i'm having both an internal and an external scan on my stomach tmi you may or may not uh need to know this but i have two periods a month and i don't want anyone diagnosing me in the comments but this is basically why i'm going for this scan uh, and i thought i'd just explain because otherwise people might think that i'm like actually not okay but yeah it's fun and uh just doing all the things checking the things scanning the things lauren's just like dying because i'm being so awkward that's what's going on and i don't want anyone diagnosing me in the comments unless it's to tell me that i'm like a very healthy human being and i'm gonna be fine um because we don't need any scaremongering around here to be honest i also need to drink a ton of water in the next like 20 minutes so i'm gonna look forward to that they're like please don't pee for an hour before you come here i was like i'm sorry <laughs> i'm a small human being i can't i can't go that long are you kidding uh yeah so i just already i'm so excited about this only saving grace is one of our favorite cafes around the corner from the hospital cheese on toast they do cheese on toast and they do egg and soldiers and they do soup it's just a very nice cafe so i'm gonna take you there with us yeah i hope you all have fun in the next few seconds whilst i'm having a camera put up my vagina <laughs> I didn't think you were going to come out with that. I thought, let them guess, you know, there's only one way that they can get into the summer internally. Really. No, just thought I'd... Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Literally. One of my new hobbies includes making Lauren feel awkward. <laughs> it's not hard. I am very awkward human being. Ah, oh, staying in as well. I'm keeping that in. I'm just going to watch my subscriber count roll down. Really? Because I love vaginas, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Bye. I'm all done. I'm not dying. Yeah, everything was like completely clear and all good. So very, very happy. We've come to Marmalade, which is so cute. I did a blog post on this years ago and we've just started coming back here recently because uh, I found it's one of Lauren's favorite cafes and I was like, um, yes. No one else comes here with me. Yeah, I'm so excited. The food looks so good. Mm. So excited to show you my breakfast. Literally breakfast because I got filming this morning and then really distracted and actually got to eat some lunch. So lunch, brunch, breakfast. Yeah, got really distracted and got to eat. So very excited. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So good. Cheese on toast. Cheese on toast. Yes, 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 yes. It's a little bit later now. I'm just eating a quality stream. I'm literally caught in the act. I have not got much further with this. I think I'm gonna have to revisit this in maybe a vlog's time and I'll show you like the finished wrapping. But hopefully this video kind of gives you a good idea of how I wanna gift wrap everything. Um, what I'm does it stun what it says on the tin is what I've got everyone. I will show you, I will kind of update you on what I've put in the girls' bags because I want to get like some cute little bits, like some sweets or something like that to just put in there. I think that'll be really nice. Maybe like little bits like some hand cream or I don't know, something nice like that. Like little things that they can keep in their handbags, that kind of thing. But yeah, everyone has something now. I also found uh, some really nice chocolates that I'd put to the side for my dad and my granddad. So everyone kind of has a nice base now i'm really getting somewhere i need to move this box here because i think ryan's gonna be home in a bit and i don't want him to see his presence and i found the box but i just didn't have time to wrap it today the whole like ct scan kind of got in the way but it has been a very productive day i'm really happy i feel really clear about what i've got everyone so yeah very happy with this and got my ct scan out of the way got a new vlogmas live I'm very happy. I think I've got my mojo back when it comes to like wrapping as well, which is good because I had to actually go back and look at old blog posts to be like, 
how the fuck did I used to do this? Like, I have not done this in a long time. Uh, but yeah, we'll update you as things go on. But that is the majority of my Christmas stuff done. And now I just need to hide it all. And yeah, get on with my evening. Lexi's home, guys. No. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I um so Ryan and I filmed a video at the weekend or started filming a video at the weekend. Lauren's very excited to edit it. Yeah. Yeah. It's um basically I've started building Ryan a capsule wardrobe and it's like it's a whole journey and uh we're very excited for you to watch it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm used to that excited. I'm very excited. I thought you were very like good as well. Thanks. Very non awkward. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. No, you were. It was great. Now you um, said that though. Pressure's on. For awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you were great. So Ryan's cooking me dinner. Because he's great. I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, he's cooking me dinner. The only thing that would make this better right now is wine. I don't have wine. I'm very sad about that. I literally like just was sitting here like 10 minutes ago thinking like I could really murder a bottle of wine right now. Not a bottle, like a glass. Oh, <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. That didn't <laughs> sound right. No, I could murder a glass of rosé. That would be great. But um, no, that will be me tomorrow night when Lauren and I go for dinner with Marky Ferris and Cheyenne, which I'm so excited about. I'm really excited for tomorrow's vlog. So, can't wait for you to see it. But I'm gonna, Hang out with this one, because he's home. My favorite time of the day. Yeah, he's yeah, so cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, oi. Don't ruin Sorry. the facade. Sorry. We're putting up an appearance here. You wow. Like yeah, you have to, what am I paying you for? I am gonna love you all and leave you, and I'm gonna be back with you in tomorrow's vlog. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this one. I've just been filling Ryan in on all the presents that I have been wrapping for people and I've hid yours, so. I'll find it. Yeah, no, you won't. Do, don't you dare. But yeah, I will see you guys again in my next vlogmas. Vlog. What was that? My next vlogmas. Goodbye.